welcome to lesson three. This lesson is about using money to illustrate place value. Now place value is a very common concept that you have learned from maybe third grade, second grade, or even first grade. And it's a very basic concept, however, it is very important to cover our foundation and to have that foundation of understanding our place value so that we can do and build on more complex problems. So we use money to illustrate this because most of us understand money or receive money and purchase things with money using ones, tens, hundreds. You also have fives and fifties, but we're only looking at ones, tens, and hundreds because that's what our what illustrates our place value. So you will receive a place value template in class that will look similar to this and we're going to go ahead and start with if we had 12 ones. So if I had $12 and I just had 12 $1 bills, they would all be in my ones category because they are $1 bills. So that's what the O is for. The O is for one. So I would put 12 $1 bills. However, that's a lot of cash to carry around. So it's better to simplify and to make it as few as possible. But you don't want to, it gets really crowded if I have 12 ones in here. And so I can split it up to look like this, where I have one $10 bill and two ones. That way I'm only carrying three bills instead of 12 bills. It's less to keep up with. So I write it as this, one 10 plus the two ones, which is still the same thing as 12. So 110 plus two ones is actually written in expanded form. This is how I would write the number 12 in expanded form. In expanded form should have been a concept that you had learned in fourth grade. So I'm just simply breaking apart each place value and writing how many I have. So in my ones column, I have two ones. And in this column, I have 110. Well, what if I were to go ahead and add three bills in my hundreds place. If I added three bills in my hundreds place, I now have 312. So this would determine that I have now three hundreds. Three hundred plus one ten plus 12 ones is my expanded form for writing 312. So this is how I write expanded form. I just simply break apart how many hundreds do I have? Three, 300. I have 110, so I write 110 using words, and my one is in the tens place, and I have two ones. So two $1 bills, and two is in my ones place. This is my ones place. This is my tens, and this is my hundreds. All right, so looking at those, we're going to be practicing composing quite a few numbers and writing those in expanded form and understanding place value and moving more of those, but we're going to actually need to use manipulatives to illustrate those. So we'll be doing more of that in class together instead of me teaching it as much up here, though hopefully it's a concept that you understand since it is, again, review from previous grades that you have done. So we're going to go ahead and see what you can do on the practice set, at least for letters A and B. We'll do C later in class. So A says which digit in 365 shows the number of tens. So you just need to find which digit represents how many tens you have. Is it the three, six, or five? So you just write one digit. Letter B says use digits to write the number three hundreds plus five tens. Now remember your place value. I have my hundreds and tens, but there's no ones. So which digit will you put in the place value for ones? It should be able to be clear from looking at this problem. This is all the information you need to write the number. So I'll go ahead and check that work from your notes and from what you took or the problems that you did in class. Thank you very much for listening.